OK, interview with Gary Setchell at a still loud and noisy Premier Plus Stadium after St. Neots Town 1, Bedford Town 1. Gary, uh, end of season affair, job done, still wanted to win the game, but there we go, a point to point. Yeah, just of all the changes I made, you know, I've made five, six, maybe even, I don't know, six, seven changes, I'm not sure what it was, but, you know, I've probably got to take a bit of responsibility because I'm asking lads who are uh, not been, you know, playing regular to all go into playing against one of the best football teams in the league. So that was always going to be tough, but they give us everything they got. That was a scrappy game. I thought we had a couple of little patches, but in in the in the main that we was, you know, we was doing a lot of defending and trying to hit them on the break. But, you know, they didn't really cut us open. Pence has made two or three good saves, but that's about it. You know, really good saves. And we was a little bit wasteful at the other end where we could have had another touch before we had a shot. But all in all, I think, you know, maybe maybe we got away and want to get a point, but that keep the unbeaten run going. And that's what I said to the lads. That, that was the goal here today to come here, get a bit of rest in at some of the players, and and then um, you know still remain unbeaten. We'd have liked the clean sheet, but that's a great strike by their lad. Real top class finish, and probably a point was a fair result. If not, they perhaps just edged it. Any concerns over it being after the Lord Mayor's show? Well, that was when you know we won the league Saturday. This is 48 hours later. We know what we know the celebrations that were going on on Saturday night. That was always a bit of a worry for me. But what can you do? You're not going to not celebrate winning the league on a Saturday afternoon, even with the game on Monday. But hopefully that's out of the system now, and we can kick on Saturday and, and finish in style at home. What do you think? Yes, his red card. I think that's probably a yellow for both of them. Um, They've got hold of each other, six and six and one half a dozen of the other. But you know, we we just get ourselves. And obviously, that's the DS's first one of the season. But we've probably had three or four where we've got involved when we didn't need to be. You know, I want the players to, you know, back each other. That was a horrendous tackle in the first place from behind, and then a couple of their lads are stepping over our lads. So you expect your players to go in, and they just got hold of each other. They wouldn't know, they wouldn't know fisticuffs. And for me, that was a, probably a yellow for each of them, but. The refs, he was only little, isn't he? The refs had seen, seen, seen it and given him a red. We'll have a look at it, see if there's anything there that we can do, do with. But for me, that's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a yellow all day long. You had to take Max, uh, Max Bustamante off at half time. What's yeah. the situation there? Um, he, he got a knock on his collarbone. Hopefully, that's not too bad, but he might have broke it and he'll probably have to go to hospital and get an x ray. Is that during the first half then? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just before half time? Just before half time. No, just before half time, I think. We obviously took the lead pretty much on the stroke of half time with the World Word free kick. Yeah. Drew's got up, used his height, and, uh, and beaten Chadwick to be able to knock over, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. We, you know, we've played against him a few times this year. We know that's not. Um, Chadwick strong point defending defending good if, if, get delivery right in his box he's, he's not the best at that you know he's a good goalkeeper but that's not his that's not his strong suit um, but they have improved from set pieces you know they brought in Big Robbie and another centre half so early on in the season every time we got a free kick we felt we'd score but they've put that right and you know like I say draw was probably a fair result and you know that's another point on the tally and you know it don't matter now do it we've won the league and we just want to try and stay unbeaten for the last couple of games. You mentioned a lot about rotating around, giving lads that have been so patient and so good the opportunity. Yeah. But does it give you a headache in terms of team selection or will you continue to keep everyone fair and sweet and moving those squad Not really. Some some come in and done OK. Some come in and done not so OK. I think we missed the continuity that we normally have. I think we was very scrappy. But that's, you know, whichever six or the left out, that would have been the same. You know, we're missing... Four centre halves today, you know, Rory McCauley, Joe Steele, Charlie Sanders, Ollie Swain. So, you know, you've got four centre halves in plan for starters. We rested our two strikers. So, you know, we <laughs> the, the, there was a lot of, um, obviously, we rested Callum as well. So, this, there's what, seven, eight players that could quite easily play in your first team that weren't playing today. So, lads done good. You know, some of them, you know, needed that game as well because obviously we've got some games coming up and with the games going forward, if I do have to call on, on people, um, then, you know, that this 90 minutes of doing the world are good. And everyone, of course, playing for their place in Step 3 as well. No, not really. You know, these boys have done enough for me, a lot of them, to, you know, to get the crack at it next year. You know, you don't win the league with three games to go if you're not a good side. So, let's not look in too much to a, 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 a patchwork quilt team today in performance. Um, let's, let's look at the... The, the, the rest of the season as a whole where these boys have been brilliant for me. Onwards and upwards as they say. We don't quite know what's going on from here. We hear tomorrow whether we go to Kidlington on... You know, obviously the club will make...
the statements following that, so we won't dwell on that too much. But you will therefore plan to uh, face Aylesbury United and, and a tough game to finish off the league season at home on Saturday. Although there's a ball going behind us, there we go. That's Macaulay. Uh, Macaulay. Uh, yes, uh, uh, as I said, uh, Aylesbury United on Saturday. And yeah. Take the week as it goes. Well, I think I think the result have gone where that's a meaningless match if we have to go there Thursday today. So. Hopefully common sense will prevail and, and we ain't got to go, but if we have to go, we'll go, we'll feel the side, we'll get on with the fixing, we'll try and stay unbeaten, and then we'll move on to Saturday. Excellent. So, keep up to date with social media as the week goes on, but regardless, it's the party at the Erie on Saturday. I was reunited, the tower at the Eagles, got it.